Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? It is The Conversation with Stevie, and I am Stevie, Dr. Stevie Aisha Mills. <laughs> I'm excited about this conversation today, let me tell you, because I recently met this wonderful woman who is just a blessing to many, and she's been helping so many people bring their visions to life. And so I'm just excited about getting to the content of it. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I know she does, and I'm going to allow her to introduce herself in an even greater way. But <laughs> her name is Lakeisha Mosley, and she is doing you know, some things. audience is even harder. Mm-hmm. 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 And where she is, like, blowing up and showing up because y'all look at some of the most profitable brands that are around, and I promise you that she is connected in some way. I keep hearing her name in real zombie. So <laughs> definitely want to bring to the forefront Lakeisha. Hey, girl. Hey, how are you? Hey, sis. I am great. I am so honored and blessed to be talking to you today. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. Well, thank you, thank you. So I am Lakeisha Mosley. I am your chaos coordinator and the digital event strategist for the LM experience. So what I do, Dr. Stevie, is I help entrepreneurs and businesses showcase their products and services to the masses where we eliminate the barriers of distance by creating virtual experiences while we grow their brand's visibility and their bank accounts. Yes, to all of that, I love it all, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I love it all. I heard some key words in that. So, yes, y'all, <laughs> And so, <laughs> so I love the whole thing. I resonate well with chaos and it's so great to have someone like you um, specifically on the the realm of our events, right? Because when we as just visionary people come to an event and somebody needs this detail, that detail, this, 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 it's like, ah, I don't want to get yeah. this. <laughs> Y'all leave me alone. And so um, I love people who excel in things that I do not excel in, and that is something that, I know that you do. So how do you um, really, what what made you, like, go into this industry of just creating organization from chaos and just helping people maintain their sanity? How did you get into that? <laughs> it actually started about eight years ago. I started as an event planner. At that time, I was married. And so my husband and I, we renewed our vows for our fifth year. And so I had so much fun doing it. Like, I had zero experience. Like, I didn't know what I was doing, but I was always good at organizing, always good at paying attention to details and things like that. So I just took that, and I said, okay, I can do this. I hired someone for day of, you know, so I can enjoy my day. But I planned it out totally. Not too long after that, I got laid off from my job, and I was like, well, I really don't want to go back to a job I really had so much fun doing this. And throughout the event, you know, my renewal, people were like, oh, my gosh, who did this? And I'm like, I did this. I did the tables. I did the decor. I did all of this. And they were like, are you serious? Like, you should consider doing this. And I'm like, oh, whatever. You know, not me. But eight years later now, I've created relationships uh, with thousands of people, I can say, just in doing events and just being connected to them either, you know, vendor-wise or just um, client-wise. Um, after I was laid off, I went back to the venue owner and told him, you know, I was thinking about starting my business. Not only Dr. Stevie did he say, I will support you, he hired me on, on the spot, as his event planner of record. So anytime anyone booked with the venue, I got a client. Fresh out the gate, girl, like not knowing anything, uh, really about events, but you couldn't tell because I came with that level of confidence um, about it. And he said, hey, on Sunday I'm doing an open house. Is it too soon or you want to do it? I'm like, oh, no, I'll do it. I spent like the next two days like researching and just taking any free class or any paid ca- class that I thought, you know, would help me so that I could prepare for that open house. I booked three clients that first open house, and it's just been a blessing 
uh, ever since from, you know, weddings, transitioning to corporate and small business entrepreneur space, to now to the virtual realm. So it's just been a great ride for me. That is awesome, <laughs> especially the way that you um, got into it, you know, it's amazing how things sometimes don't work out in our lives, but they really do. Right. I call what you've done is to create it factor in income. And so from your it factor, you've been able to monetize this whole thing to take it to the next level of greatness. And I love that it is such a testimony and testament because this show is definitely about the why behind the what of what people do. And that just right. you explaining that is so vivid for me. And so I want to dig into our now, like this 2020 year where I happen to see it on Facebook. It's so funny. I memory feature. I love memories. I do look at my memories every day. But right. I was like gung-ho for right about now. I was like, this is 2020 shall be the year of live events. I was like, I'm about to go out here and, and do what I do um, and, and create this event of tour. Right. I was about to do a tour. I did a tour, a, like a real life tour in um, 2011. And I was like, well, it's time for me to resurrect that. And so that's what happened. <laughs> and then COVID set in. And so I know for me and so many other people who were ready to just get into that live room, it was something, and I just really applaud the fact that you pivoted and that you're like, okay, well, we can't do this event, the event, and let's just make right. sure that it goes off. And I love it because you truly have introduced even myself to new platforms and new things. But the question I want to ask you is definitely about how easy was that pivot when you're like, okay, well, we're about to do some virtual events. What, tell us about that process. It was not easy, Dr. Stevie. Let me just say that. I am a personality, so it is, <laughs> you know, I'm, I, I don't like change. If you, if anybody knows a personality people, we don't really mm -hmm. adapt to change very well. We, like, kick and fight and scream and, you know, we pitch fits. But um, I just really, when it happened, my team and I, we kind of sat down and – at that time, my social media manager said, you're going to have to pivot, and I know you don't like to pivot. I know you don't like change, but listen, this is what we're going to have to do. And I had already been thinking it. Mind you, God had already been trying to move me into that realm anyway because I had started to dabble with some virtual events prior to COVID. I just didn't know where it was going. And they were like, hey, I want to create this virtual thing. Um, and it was in other countries, Dr. Stevie. That's the funny part. It was in other countries. Wow. Um, and they were like, you know, we want to kind of, we want somebody in touch in the States and we want to do this. And so it wasn't easy at all. It did take me to jump on some classes and some trainings. It did take me to, um, demo a lot of platforms. People that were on my webinar the other night were laughing at me. I was like, I've been on like 7,100, you know, demos for platforms. <laughs> but it was essential to what I'm doing because as a client, I want to get you on the right platform that's going to give you what you want for your attendees. Uh, you know, if it's meeting style, then I can recommend this one. If it's high engagement, then I can recommend this one. So, it wasn't an easy, easy process, but once I kind of got into my groove of it, it became like second nature to me. And so now I can just talk about it and come up with ideas and, you know, share with clients ways that they can turn that in-person event into now a really highly engageable, you know, live virtual event. Absolutely, and I love that because I know even you and I have had some conversation about platforms. I'm like, look, girl, yes. <laughs> we about to do this the easy way, honey, because I right. can't afford right. um, both of these trips. Nah, nah, that's not what we're doing. And I right. am, it's so funny because I am good with change. I am, but I'm not good at change, like, right in the moment. Like, I am not good at change, like, let's all get on here and it does not work. Nah, I'm not right. <laughs> That was that was still me in a whole different mental space. I'm like, yeah. So, um, 
Yes, that's important to know that. And I applaud you for, like, really digging deep and becoming that expert in the space that you're like, I'm not the most comfortable with this, but I see you guys. Right. And that's what it is. That's, what it is. that's really what it is that happens. Exactly. And so let's dig deep into what we're doing because I'm excited about what we're doing. And yes. um Yes, yeah, so No More Hidden Figures Virtual Retreat, and that is coming up October 23rd through 25th. So super excited about that because not only do I get to, um, you know, present this my birthday weekend, so I was like, we got to turn yeah. up, but also, <laughs> also I get to work with you, and I'm excited that you are sponsoring in such an amazing way of, of our event, and I'm grateful for that. So the next question I have for you is definitely why did you say yes to working with us? Oh, my gosh. First and foremost, I just resonated with you when we were in our, you know, AYP intensive. Like, I love the ideas you had. I love how encouraging you were to everybody. You know, to be honest, I was a, I felt a little bit out of sorts in that space because I'm always used to being behind the scenes. But for Miss mm-hmm. Lucinda to put me in a space with such amazing women as yourself, it just really made me say, girl, it's time to come out behind mm-hmm. the shadows and get in the in the forefront. And then when you came to me about, you know, being a part of your event, it was just even more so of a blessing. I resonate with, you know, with Hidden Figures, the movie, because I am an AK, and and those ladies were, you know, a huge part of, you know, what we celebrate in our organization. But then it was just like God speaking to me, like, it's time for you to come out. It is time for Mm -hmm. you to stop hiding behind whatever this is, these fears and insecurities that you pray to me to release from you. So it's time to, like, come out. And so I just felt like it just resonated not only, you know, with, me, but what the message that you're trying to get out to people about themselves and what they are doing in life. And so it was, to me, it was a complete honor. It was just a complete blessing uh, to be a part, and I'm so excited about it. Yay, thank you. I'm excited, too, and I love that movie, uh, No More Hands. I mean, look, we're about to make a movie. Love his right. figures. I love that movie. <laughs> and it, I do love it in so many different ways. And shout out to Trent my pastor's son. He actually played Janelle Monet's son in that movie. So um, I, yeah. I remember seeing that. So it's definitely been a huge thing on my life to see that movie. And I was like, wow, like, we all are his figures. Like, literally, because, yeah. you know, as a visibility person, Everybody in the world does not know even, you know, believe it or not, some people don't know who Oprah is, believe it or not. Right. So even on that regard, she is a hidden figure. So, you know, the more visible we get, the more credible we become and the more cash we make. And so God has right. really been dealing with this whole thing, and I am just elated. I'm elated, and I am just excited about what's going to happen. It's like a whole lot of moving parts <laughs> But I yeah. really want to be able to say this is what we're producing uh, for women. And especially, you know, a lot of people are just tired and they need a retreat. They need a chill. So it's yeah. real, that's, that's real important to me. And so I'm just excited about that and more details shall be coming. But y'all look out for this incredible work that we're doing. No More Hidden Figures Virtual Retreat. And Lakeisha, before we wrap up, I have one more question for you, and then we'll get sure. to contact information. But the question we have is, I'm listening because I'm about to ask you to fill in the blank. Dr. Stevie, we cannot leave this conversation today without people knowing and then fill in the blank. That's a good one. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Dr. Stevie, we cannot leave this conversation without women knowing that they matter. They matter, and they are a gift to the world. Amen. I love it. That's right. That's right. Woo! Girl, girl, we love yes. it. So, <laughs> so I'll definitely give your contact information because I know that there are people who need you. They're like, oh, my God, girl, I'm about to lose my 
wits in because I cannot navigate this. I don't have the patience. Help them out, girl. Help them out. Yes, I would love, love, love to do that. Um, I can be reached on all social platforms except Twitter as DLM Experience. Um, Twitter is just LM Experience. Um, you also can reach me at Lakeisha M. Mosley on all platforms. I would love to chat with anyone uh, about their event. Um, I love events. Like, that is my jam. Uh, and I just love helping people bring their visions to life. Uh, I want people to not think um, that it's a lost cause. COVID is not doing nothing. It didn't mess up enough stuff. Let's not let it mess up your event. You know, let's talk about how to pivot your event from in-person to virtual and you still have really good results. Amen. And she is patient, y'all. So that's, that's been huge for me. Patience is a virtue because I'm not a patient yes. person. So whenever I get around patient people, it helps my spirit. So definitely, yes. definitely, definitely get connected with Lakeisha. Lakeisha, thank you for stopping by to have a conversation with me. I truly appreciate you and look forward to the work we create now and in the future because I believe that you're going to be a key part to my whole life. (laughs) Yes, yes, I'm excited. I really am. I am totally excited. Yay, yay, yay. So, everybody, I want to thank you for listening in to the conversation today. I am Dr. Stevie Aisha Mills. This has been The Conversation with Stevie. If you want to stay connected to me, just know how to spell my first name, S-T-E-V-I-I, and you can catch me all over social media. You can catch me on Stevie.com. Wherever you need me, I'm there. But most importantly, look out for No More Hidden Figures Virtual Retreat. And as I always end, I say make it a great day. Do not have a great day. Make it a great day. Why? Because you, you, and yes, you too have the power to do so. Bye for now.